Hey y'all, Pepper Guy here. Appreciate you joining me. Uh, so this week we've got, I've just got a little update on my uh, mild pepper growing series. Uh, as you can see, we've had some pretty good growth. Um, we've got, and some of these additions here are, these are my four chill tepping plants. Uh, so I've got, I've got three in the hydroponics and one, this one I'm growing for my friend, <clears throat> excuse me. This one I'm growing for my friend. We got it. Uh, it's looking pretty nice. They are slow. It's already got its true leaves on there. Um, but anyways, uh, my jalapenos and centacas and my one picking pekin are uh, are growing really well. Um, so most of them don't have flowers on them. You can see like this jalapeno. No, no flowers in there. Uh, but we do have a couple flowers in this jalapeno plant. Um, it's already, you see it's forking off there. It's got a nice fork there. Um, what we'll want to do with these, let's see, we've got one, two, three. We've got, got about four flowers in there. All we're going to do is just pick those off for right now. We don't need to top this thing. Um, Topping it would be very counterproductive for me. I'm not trying to. Um, I'm not trying to delay uh, my plants right now. You know, um, sometimes topping them would be uh, very necessary. It's just. It just really depends on your situation. Um, and for those who don't know, topping is basically just just clipping off the top parts of the plant. Um, you know, like say this one here. I, this plant's a little too young, I would say, to top it, but let's see, I'll show you one that, well, this one here, for example. So, I picked off a couple flowers. Um, if I were to really want to top it, say I planted this way too early, and, you know, we're still getting frost out here, which I'm in Nebraska, it's, there's still snow everywhere. Um, topping it, you could just cut it anywhere, uh, like right about here. Every one of these nodes, there's going to be there's going to be new shoots coming out. So by topping it, you're you're not killing it. You're just um, you're just kind of delaying it, setting setting the plant back a little bit. Um, some people would swear by it completely uh, because it can it really promotes a more bushier plant. It'll uh, it'll keep it it'll keep it shorter. Maybe uh, make the roots or the uh, stems a little stronger for when it when you go to transplant it. Um, others say don't, you know, there's no, there's no real reason to top it. I mean, these plants, they know what they're doing, but, um, it, it really just depends on your situation. Uh, for me last year, I definitely had to top most of my plants because we had a, we, we kept having, you know, uh, frosts in late April, early May. So I, I topped it, um, you know, and what was it, uh, sometime in like mid-April, early April, and it, it did well for me. So if you need to delay them a little bit, that, that's, a, that's an option. But, but for us, for this video here, um, well, for this series, we, we're just trying to make crosses. So um, we're trying to get these as, as quick as possible, get these flowers developed. But the problem here is we've got one jalapeno plant with flowers, and none of the other, especially other uh, species, uh, the Centacas, the Pekin, they don't have any flowers yet. So what you want to do is, you know, um, uh, get these get these plants to where they're flowering together. So if you got one that's flowering, just all you got to do is just snip them off with your fingers, or if you can if you can cut them uh, with scissors or something, that's fine. Um, but I think in a couple weeks everything will start developing um you know at least at least a flower bud or two and uh we'll just let them keep going at that point so uh and these pick these uh chill tepins they're they're they'll move along they're really slow right now i kind of like the color look we got some a little purple in there most of the leaves looks like are purple in these you can see but um Anyways, they'll, they'll speed up. They'll catch up. And we'll be crossing the centacas and the jalapenos together. So if they start flowering around the same time, we'll, we'll just let those flowers go and, uh, and we'll get into the crossing. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that part. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, 
but that's that's really it today i was just wanting to give you an update um like i said it's been it's been about two weeks since my last update and uh, they're really growing they're growing good there doesn't look to be any problems any issues so um hopefully that continues but uh yeah you'll also get to see how again how quick these will shoot up compared to this one um but yeah that's it for today so appreciate y'all joining me remember to like subscribe and comment below and we'll see y'all next time